for the injection we use a syringe this is the syringe this is the state of loading and this is the state of injecting we want to load you, you switch this uh, to this uh, position okay I'm gonna for example switch it here yeah so now you can take your syringe and you can inject I try to inject only the methanol just to show you the example so you push then you switch it to the injection mode right and you can see here So when you made the injection, you will find this peak. This is the pressure. This is the line of pressure. And this one and this one is uh, of the wavelength that you use. So as you can see here, the pressure gets down, then go back to his place. So we injected only methanol, there is nothing. So we are just washing the carbon. So here we have the two wavelengths that we are using 210 and 235 the maximum absorbance we have um, at uh, 255 this is the solvent A solvent B the bottles are filled so this is the methanol and here we have the water the HPC gray you need to cover always your uh, bottles by the aluminium foil right so as I said here we have our washing then this is our emission system and at this moment I inject my sample right you can inject it from this position so as we are using the preparative you can inject a big amount so this Syringe, uh, you can go until 500 microliter, and uh, you can also use one uh, one ml. You can inject one ml. Your sample is so big, but uh, usually we use only 500 in order to get a good separation. Uh, well, so you can stop your method from here, or you can make only pools. Pause. What else? I, uh, well, so uh, what you need to. This is the pressure that you are using. The equilibration. We use the ascender thermal, not this, we have here thermal, we don't use this one, we use this one. The detection wavelength, we have two wavelengths because we have two. So it seems that the baseline is not correct yet. Uh, we have some some impurities stuck in the column, and we are washing them. Uh, bear in mind before you start you need always to purge your uh, uh, your system you click here in the top then you purge with 100 uh, water and 100 methanol while uh, once you start the purge you need to open you need to open the valve we have different kind of columns it depends of the use this is the, the Kinetex biphenyl and this is the Gemini Enex C18 the selection of the column is uh, 
accorded uh, is connected to your mixture for example the pifinel you use it if you have some aromatic rings the behavior of this column is not the same as this one for the collection you can use uh, some Erlin Meyers here or you can use some rack tubes if you want but for the most cases if you have three compounds of two you can use only some Erlin Meyers and once your pick come here you can put your Erlin Meyer here and once the second pick come here you can switch to the second Erlin Meyer um, if you are using uh, a dissolvent system, for example the methanol or the acetonitrile, you will not find any peak here of methanol or acetonitrile, but if you are using the demiso, you can have a peak around here. You can get the peak, a peak here, but you don't have to collect it because it belongs only to a demiso. Usually uh, the demiso is not recommended because once you use it, um, the pressure gets increased because the, the viscosity of the dinosaur is uh, high so the pressure gets increased that is not uh, is not suggested if you can dissolve your sample methanol or acetonitrile is more better moreover you need to uh, if you if you sample is not totally dissolved you need to filter it you need to filtrate your sample using a syringe and a filter here because if you still have some powder or some precipitates it might stuck in the column and is not uh, is not practical it will destroy your column so this is the mood that we are using this is the inverse so you need to pay attention usually to if you are using the ACC or the DCC. So the separation, uh, which direction it goes from where to where. Because when we inject here, so we inject from here, and it goes at the direction.